Dude, golden Drakari, golden Murkai, golden Bran. Jesus. Greetings, traveler. Tier 7. Yeah, in tier 7, I do want to try Alex. Just to see how it feels. Alright, no economy. It's fine, we'll try again tomorrow. There's no economy anyway, that's why I didn't take Gallywix, so... Sample size of one doesn't mean much, but it's better than sample size of zero, I suppose, right? You get, especially if you're the one testing, you get a feel. Sometimes one game is all I need to get the feel. So yeah, that is, that is an aspect here. I took the dragon because there is a chance you're going to triple it off the hero power, but probably not. But you're gonna want to lean into some dragons, I suppose. Going to tier 5 on 9 gold, like the good old days, is gonna be very, very tough, if not impossible. You'd have to essentially go to 4 on 7 gold, then on 8 gold you'd have to buy on tier 4, and then on 9 gold you'd have to go up. Which, in a tier 7 lobby, is possible with the extra armor. So I could see that happening, where I'll level on 6 and 7 gold, I'll buy on 8 gold, and then on 9 gold I can uh, tier. You won. Congratulations to me. This is perfect for the curve I have in mind. Because I can do this plus pass. This turn you can cycle bacon. Alternatively, I cycle sun bacon on the low flyer and I go for more strength right now. I cycle this no matter what. This is not better for tiering, right? No. I like your odds. It's gonna get a high attack anyway. Ah, the sweet taste of your you first. Yeah. Against Mutinous, I could have put Welp first. But you still just have a 50-50. It's okay. Remember, I do think making big Mercules is good, but because we're playing Alex, we're going here. Was it cycle no matter what? Yeah, because getting the gems now makes the damage far less likely. You wouldn't want to pay four health to roll one time, right? Because what is a roll worth really when we think about it here? I know I'm likely gonna level. So anything I roll there, I'd have to freeze it, level, freeze it, it's like, yeah, just, yeah. The roll is imaginary value, essentially. Oof. Yeah, this is pretty savage. Oh, they've already leveled. Okay. I saw them on three and I was like... Mm. So I can float next turn, but spending the gold on a better unit outperforms two gems for sure. So the tricky thing is that I won't know if I'll be spending it on a better unit or not. Because I'll have to roll and then have three gold left and then buy. Tier 7 games have been lasting more than 50 minutes for you. Wow. I uh, do not share that experience whatsoever. Tier 7 games feel very fast to me. <laughs> I think the funny thing is because you have more armor, people are a little bit more adventurous. More adventurous means they get higher higher return on their uh, investments. And then they end up with silly boards faster and they actually end up killing people fast. Which removes the damage cap and then... Yeah. Time saver pair on the board. Float a gold for Bookie. These sell for full value. And you can triple off your hero power. Alternatively, it's roll, hit the nuts. Could also buy a random deflecto, but. <clears throat> oh my god, okay. It's fine. Actually, tank. Ooh. 
Uh, if you had 9 gold, this would be sick, right? Because you could go Reborn Sewer at Tank. But we'll tier next turn because I get my dragons. Does the Cell Dragon for 2 roll over? This stacks, yes. This stacks. It'll be 2, then 5, then 7. Well, 2 more, meaning 3. And then 2 more, meaning 5. Kill that tank, please. Pepehems. We're not greedy enough to sell Dozy for 4 gold and 2 blood gems next turn. No, no, no. We're gonna have essentially one more turn of damage cap and then we have to win every single round after that. Alternatively, we buy because... Oh, mama. What a shop. Jesus. Freeze for next turn. Oh, that might actually be better. Yeah, because I either win... Yeah, no. You're right. <laughs> Double dong. Go time saver now. Perfect. Merc guy is insane. Alright. I'm so glad I didn't go for the double dong there, because that just didn't feel like it was going to be good. I still froze, because if I lose this round, the Carolo is insane. If I win this round, I just level to 5 on 9 gold and I won the round. So it's kind of a win-win situation for me. Carolo is worth a freeze, and... If I win, then that's not a problem. Should you not have sold one? S which one? <laughs> right, no. But basically the answer for me, no. Uh, but... So Feldrake next to Murkai is going to be really good. So I'll double buy roll, try to get Bran. Actually, double buy, play Feldrake first, because shop space will be an issue. Because I gotta play this now and then roll and then sell by float. Drakari is uh, really nice still. It's a bit weird because we won't have enough shop space really, but it's fine. One of a bumper, I guess. Okay, so now we're floating. We get the gems, we get the four golds. We could go to six next turn, look for Kali, and use this for money. So I do not want to rule out here. Oh! I hadn't thought of that! It makes sense that it works, but... Ooh, baby! I hadn't thought of that. Oh my god, Drakari is better than I thought. Right. Oh my goodness, that is juicy. I don't think it's straight to 7, though. I don't think 7 is actually that insane for us right now. I think we just need uh, to get Caligos, right? Se we can do 7 later for Malgadon, Boomobile. I don't know if I care about this. I don't think so, because I'm selling the Time Saver, right? And this is part of why it's insane. And this is currently adapting the Dong, but the Dong is already good, so... It's probably just level roll, use the money for Cali this turn. We'll level roll and then see. I don't think I can make a duo work from this spot. I think I just have to roll and use a time saver. It's 12 gold. Just play tier 6. Yep. That's, uh, well, that's free. Hunter of Gatherers after this gains attack. It's not awful with all the gems, right? I'll freeze, but I'm eating it, right? No, I can move. 
Let's fucking go, chat. I guess we're gem built now. I guess we're gem built now. This thing next to the tier 7 cool bar is insane. Oh man, we we thought that through really quickly, right? That was great. Gems are already massive. I can't tell yet. I need something to hover that has the ability to make gems. Can hover to 7 drop. 8-8 eight, eight per gem. So I can keep Murkai, Sanguine, and this, which means I have to be a little bit cautious that I don't just get killed out of nowhere, but as long as we play a few gems here or there, we'll be fine. So if you feel comfortable, you buy both of them. Otherwise, you just buy Drakari because you're going to end up with Thingy anyway. I'm just going to buy the Enchanter and roll and just try to hit. Oh, Bongo Bopper's great. I can sell the Hunter of Gatherer to play Bongo Bopper. We'll get four gems in hand, and then I got the play for Golden Drakari. That's good. I didn't want to adapt the Amalgadon further. I just wanted to get some stats on the Drake to hopefully, you know, take zero damage this turn. Every gem is 13-13 right now. I could roll the Dragon that forces the procs on the tier 7 Cobor here. With the Brand, that's another plus 2 plus 2. Bongo's already... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bongo Bopper is insane. Charlie is insane. Golden Drakari is insane. Essentially, we keep the Murkai as long as we think we can get away with. You'd keep Murkai longer than you keep Bran. Hmm. Plus 26, plus 26 on a minion. That's actually hilarious that I might not buy that. 26, 26. It's like two Uthers and a Bacon. Jesus. Twenty six, twenty six to a minion. Jesus. That's money. I don't have to cycle that, but I think I'll still do it because it seems better to... I got money, I can roll. Oh, Baron? No, Evolve is better. Well, we can Evolve next turn. Actually, do I even need a 7 drop that badly? Oh, this might not die, but that's okay. I wanted to give it some stats. It doesn't really have to die. As long as we're winning fights, like, we are extremely happy. Baron is negligible, but I have three gold. So, it's Baron or Coiler there. Toof. That's a tough one. The last unit in your shop always, like, it's 
you don't love buying it a lot of the time, but you do it because it makes sense. <laughs> the right play is a Malgadon, chap. The right play is like you have gold. Yeah, there's actually no way it's not a Malgadon, but it'd be hilarious. You could force more Amalgadon with this, but the first one is kind of risky, right? Alright. Jesus, dude. Golden Murkai or just Murky? I guess Murky is dumb right now. Golden Murkai, Pippa Hands. Not the ending on Murky right now. Insta Big Foe Reaper. I could put it in the hand for next turn and then all in and sell my shit. Frogamid, thank you so much for the 29. Welcome back. It's Golden Brand. <laughs> it's Golden Brand! Oh my god, dude. It's Golden Brand. 23 23 per gem. Dear god. Hey, he's also playing Cool Boy. A fellow Coolbore enthusiast. My tech units are going to value trade. Lul. Alright, so if we get Charlie, it's still insane. I don't think I have to go to 7. I'm happy with the two dongs. Yeah, we don't go to 7. <laughs> god. Oh my god. It's just not even worth it. I think I just need Charlie or Bopper. Yeah. I've got Golden Brand. I'm gonna roll. I guess you could sell your champion and just end on Murky here. You should play the Cleave though, I don't know. I'm out of my uh, gem buff guy. Oh, Charlie. For the alliance. Okay. Uh, doesn't matter. Sure. Another plus three, plus three. That's a pretty good buff. I don't know, maybe I just take it. Got a roll though. Technically, have a roll. I want the, um, I want the freaking, um, Charlie, right? Magnetic on the cleave is good. Magnetic on the cleave is good, yeah. Do you want to see how many plants we have? Okay, I'm not going to hover that. That's too freaky. Dude, Golden Drakari, Golden Murkai, Golden Bran. Jesus. The gems are big enough, right? 27, 27. 24 plants. 36 plants. Plant Enjoyer.
Oh, it's good. Look who's summoning 40 40 breeds. So cute. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh dear god, dude. How big would the gems be if you kept the champ? Like, ridiculously big. It's just like, okay, it's definitely the fun play to keep the champ, but if you take 14 here versus Poison Scam because you didn't make an 80 damage cleave. You're gonna feel really sad. This brand actually doesn't even do that much right now, which is hilarious. I guess I'll roll for the Boomobile, because that was a pretty big error. Skipping it. <laughs> you don't even cycle it though, right? It just doesn't make sense. Charlie, Boomobile, I think. Oh my god, dude. You could technically hold this, because you're not really doing anything this turn. You just assume you don't take lethal damage and then... Jesus, you kind of have to buff the cleave still though, right? It's all on, all on the cleave. I think you just don't even get buffs here. You just do this. This is so weird though, because I'd love to just use this more. But honestly, these two are the ones that are going for just Charlie or so. So I should just roll. If I had Charlie here, I can uh, put it in. Bristlebox, not bad, but it just doesn't really matter. I could sell Bran to Uther and Knight and run that. Ooh. That actually makes more sense, right? Because then I can do this. I can do this. Yeah, that makes more sense. This is sort of more your boring, correct lines in, st in terms of tech. But what we could have done was just keep a murky next to Murkai and just get Giga stats. Yeah, I think our we understand that our opponent is running some kind of comp that is reliant on order of attacks. So making a Wind Fury is good, having a Cleave is great. And then you have these two Dongs here, like, it doesn't really matter what they do. Yeah, GG. Wow, what an outrageous game. I could have milked more. I'm, I will say that... And this is really the YouTuber in me right now. I'm actually a little sad that I didn't go even greedier. Because it would have uh, been more fun to watch. <laughs> but, I mean, this was a good game. Let's be honest. <laughs> this was a good game. Dear God. That's the one shot. We only got 27, 27 per gem. Unfortunate. Yeah, you can say hi to YouTube on those games for sure.